All right, welcome back. So next up, we're talking about images with cards. How do we add images to the top or the bottom or do an overlay? And this is something that I see a lot of the time with cards. It's a relatively frequently used feature of cards and it's nice and easy to do. So, so let's uh, give it a shot. First, let me show you what I'm talking about. Uh, well, something like this, first of all, although with a more exciting image. And to find the docs for this, you can just click on where is it? Card images right here. And there's really three things I'm going to talk about. The first one is this, where we have an image on top and then our card body. We can do the opposite. Frankly, I don't see this one very often. I don't know if I've ever seen it in the wild with the image on the bottom. Maybe I have and it was just I didn't notice it because it looks good. Usually only notice things and they look odd. And then image overlays where we have the text on top of the image. So by far, the one I used and, and see the most often is this one right here. So let's talk about how you do it. All that you have to do is give your image a class of card image top and then put your image source in there and put that above the body. And that's honestly all you have to do. So a big part of this obviously is the images. I like to use Unsplash for images, which if you're not familiar with, it's a great resource. These are photos that anyone can use. Um, gifted by the world's most generous community of photographers that that is a true sentence a lot of great photographers giving away their photos for free for all uses so you can do a search or you can go to collections look for curated things or you can just search for blue or i don't know forest or hiking or halloween so oh purple i do love purple so i'm going to just use some of these sure let's just say i want this photo so copy the address or download it and you could use any image that you find and then I'm going to move this over here and I'm going to make a new card. And if I just do it by default on its own and make it take up all the space all the way across, it's going to be quite ugly. Let's do a container and let's add a row in and we can start by just doing column six. And in there I'll make a card and then we do our image with the class of card image top and we give it our source. And there you can see it's already in place. And now we add our card body below. So card dash body. And then let's add in a card title, which should not be a div. That should be an H5 or any sort. It doesn't have to be an H5, but card title. And we'll just say purple image. And let's add a subtitle to car. Uh, what do I want? Text muted. And let's just say subtitle text. And then we'll add our card body finally, which will make a paragraph with some lorem ipsum in there and save. And there's our card. And it looks pretty good, although, well, you know what? I messed that up by adding card body. You can see I gave a bunch of extra padding or margin. We want card text. There we go. And I gave the subtitle a little margin bottom just so we have more space. Okay, so you can see that as I change the size of this column, I don't know, nine, our image also is going to grow. It looks nice. You know, I could do two of these if I wanted to. If I duplicate this whole thing, save, and just use a different image. Let's use a pink one. How about, sure, we could use this one, and this is actually going to illustrate something. Um, just a moment, paste this in, and it works, but you can see, of course, they are different heights, and that's the default behavior. So you either enforce that your images are the same height or you add some CSS in to alter this where you can squash your image down if, if it's a square like this and you want it to display this way or you change the behavior so that some of the image is cut off maybe so you don't see the whole thing. Maybe you crop it. Not I'm not talking about cropping with like Photoshop, but you can crop it in the browser essentially. So I just wanted to show you to. So I did want to show that to you. Uh, it is something to consider. But if you replace it with another image, I found this one, it looks pretty good. And of course we can make them responsive. Right now they're not. We do the same thing we always do. Let's just do column maybe medium six. Yeah, it looks great. And then, yeah, perfect. Look at how easy that is. That's why people like bootstrap. Okay, uh, we can also do them on the bottom, which as I've already mentioned, I just do not like that personally, but we can do it. Take this image or take the entire column and the card and then move this image after the card body. And then 
uh, give it a class of card image bottom. And there it is. N not a fan personally. And then really the only other thing is that we can do an overlay. Now overlays can be a little tricky to position your text exactly how you want it. Also, you have to worry about contrast with the images. So let's go find a dark image, first of all, or you could find a really light image. Let's look for dark. Sure, let's take this image here and copy that. And what we need to do here is make a card and instead of card, card image top or bottom, we just say card image. And then we go down and add a div with card image overlay. So not body, but overlay. So let's try it out. Let's just make another one uh, right below this. So column medium six, we'll do our card. And our card, they give it a text white. And we'll probably want text white as well for ours. We give it an image with the class card dash image. And then we do our card image overlay div. And in here, we can put our same stuff, our H5. I'm just going to copy this inside of this div and instead of purple image I'll say overlay and subtitle text sure I don't know how that's gonna look with the text muted we gave the entire card text white moment of truth here is our text now this is what I was talking about it can get a little tricky positioning things the way you want them to go moving them around because uh, the whole image is here so we could change the height we could change mar margin and padding on things um, there's a lot of stuff we could do, but that's not what I'm trying to show here. I'm just want to show you the basics of the card and the fact that this is how you do an overlay. I changed it to an H3, which the title, I think it looks better. And instead of tech, I'm going to get rid of text muted and just leave it as white. It doesn't look too bad. All right. Uh, the last thing that they do, or actually the very first thing on the docs early on, they show you the kitchen sink where you put it all together. So yes, we can put our image cap up top, have a card body, and then put whatever we want below. So we could do that too. Column, let's do column medium six again, do a card, and then inside that card, we'll do our image with card image top. I'll come back and fill out the source. And then we can do our card body. And I'm just once again gonna copy our same stuff from over here. So we have a card body. But we could also do, uh, what else do we want? Maybe a list group. List group. And then in here we do our li with a list group item. Perfect. List group flush as well. And then in here we can add first thing and second thing and so on. All right. Now I'll just find some image to use and put that right here. And here's our kitchen sink. It has everything in there. We've got the image. I guess I should add some our margin. Let's do margin Y3. Sure. And it looks pretty good. These are nice. Cards are great. Uh, they're really useful. You, you can stack and sort of uh, use the different content in, in whatever order you want. Put the, the image on the bottom. Put the body on the bottom. Put the list group first. Put whatever you want. Put a second body below. It's kind of, I won't say limitless, but uh, there's a lot that you can do.